I've seen these fun cake sickles all around, so of course we had to try them. Basically to make a cake sickle, it's just kind of like a cake pop, but it's more fun, I think. And we can fill them with anything. You can fill them with cake, obviously, to make like a cake pop. You can fill them with brownies. You can fill them with cheesecake. Today, we are filling them with edible cookie dough. And you guys have seen my heart molds before, and I'm gonna make a few like this, but this is what you need if you're going to make cake sickles. It's just a cake sickle mold. There's so many different ones out there. I just got this off Amazon. I'll link where I got these. Lots of different ones. Also, we need chocolate. You can see in front of me, I have lots of different colors of chocolate. They're just candy melts, and this way is a lot easier because they're already colored, so you don't have to worry about changing the color and your chocolate seizing up. I just got these at my local craft store, and they melt up really well. You can also add flavorings to your chocolate if you want to kick it up a notch. Today, I'm just showing you the basic way to make a cake sickle. And of course, we're gonna make them princess cake sickles. To start out, just get a little bit of vodka. And if you have it, if you don't, it's totally fine. And kind of just spread it around the bottom of your cake sickle molds. And this will make them shiny when they come out of the mold, nice and happy and shiny. All right, now we have our chocolate. And we're just gonna melt it in the microwave. You guys have seen me do it. I put it in for about a minute in a microwave safe bowl. And then we're gonna dump the chocolate right into our cake sickle mold. Some people like to measure out their chocolate to make sure it's all perfect, but you know me, I just like to go for it. So we're just gonna dump this right into our cake sickle mold. And then I have my spoon and we're just gonna spread it all around in that cake sickle mold. Make sure every part of the cake sickle mold gets covered with chocolate. Now we'll do the same thing with a few different colors of chocolate for the rest of our cake sickle molds. You guys don't have to change the colors. Really, you can just do one color the first try because my kitchen, too many bowls of melted chocolate all around my kitchen. Disaster! Okay, but I'm doing it for you guys. When your chocolate is kind of dried, but not all the way dry, but not super wet, I want you to stick your little stick right through. Push it right through so that there's a nice little hole so that when we do our second coat, you'll be able to Make another little hole with your stick and it won't crack our chocolate. And we're gonna do our second coat of chocolate just around the sides when your chocolate's not super set and not super soft. Push that stick right through again. And now you can put it in the fridge for a few minutes to set up. They don't have to be in the fridge long, just a few minutes. Pull them out and now it's time to fill them with our edible cookie dough. You can see I'm just scooping the cookie dough right here on top and I'm just using my hands. I'm gonna get down and dirty today. These are just for my family, but if you want, you guys can use gloves. Now I'm just gonna push that cookie dough right into our cake mold so it's nice and even. You can see I'm pushing them all down so it's nice and flat. Put the chocolate on the top to finish off these cute little cake sickles. You can see the first two, I'm just dumping it on and just kind of trying to spread it out nice and smooth, but it's not perfect and it's okay. I just wanna show you the basic way to get these done today. This one, however you see, I put the chocolate on a little bit smoother, a little bit cleaner, and I kind of pick it up and just kind of move it around and it smooths out that chocolate. Now we're gonna place these back in the fridge for just a minute. We'll be ready to unmold them. I brought them out, I took them out of the mold, and look how fun they are. So cute and shiny and happy. Be careful when you pull them out of the molds. Just pull them out nice and slow, guys. So many possibilities with these molds. So much fun, you guys. Now, the best part, we're gonna decorate them. I told you we're making these princess cake sickles, and this is a fun and easy trick and tip. I'm gonna show you guys how to get sprinkles to stick to your cake sickles. You can just get a little bit more of your melted chocolate and put it in a piping bag and just kind of drizzle it across those cake sickles and then throw your sprinkles on. That's a wonderful way to do it. Totally fun and super cute. I saw this trick on Instagram from my friend Joe's Cakes and we had to try it because we get to use fire. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use this blowtorch. All we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna use my blowtorch right on where I wanna put some sprinkles. A tiny light touch right on your cake sickle. And then you can see I just can put my little sprinkle right on it. Sticks perfectly. And it's fire. 
just be careful if this is the route you go. It's such a fun way to add sprinkles without making a really big mess with the candy melts. And look how fun they are. Can you guys tell which princesses I'm making? These sprinkles are all from Sprinkle Pop Shop, my favorite. as much fun as I did making these princess style cake sickles filled with edible cookie dough. Thanks so much for watching here at Chalice Bakes Cakes. Make sure and subscribe to my channel and have an awesome day guys.